In the last episode, what I got up to was actually this beautiful sheep barn and able to get all the sheep over from the starting area all the way over here to the sheep barn because the area here in the farming district is starting to come together. And what I want to turn my attention to is further beautify the farming district land by adding in a couple of houses placed out about. And where we'd like to start is right here. Good day. Good morning, good afternoon, or whatever time of the day it is that you are watching this episode. My name is Q, and welcome back to the Old School Let's Play series. Episode 21? 21. It's 21. So yes, I want to start actually adding in some more houses to this area. Like this whole side, I want to add in more of the houses that kind of wrap around this field and kind of fill this whole area up right. Because the plan is eventually to actually have like the farmer's market in here, like a little couple of different stalls, make some custom terrain, like some lifts and stuff around here, retaining walls. This is going to be the valley for the market. We'll have our houses here, some more farms of the fields and stuff, and like barns more kind of going out that way. We'll have fields sprinkled out and about. And that forest over that way I need to clear out back a little bit because I got plans for out there and I need to gather up quite a bit of resources. I got some stuff set up right here for the plans for today, which is going to be dropping in quite a few houses, but I need to get resources. So let me go get those resources and then we'll come back and we'll start mocking up some places to put in some houses. So as you can see behind me, I did gather up quite a bit of resources and I did mock out some groundations for the houses. So if we hop into our handy dandy free cam mode here you can see that we got one two three four five six houses that's right six houses for six villagers in the farming district so we're gonna have to need to get six villagers over here but before we can even get the villagers over here we got to get the houses built up so let me go into a little super speedy fast build mode and get these houses built up you ready three two one go That took a bit out of me, huh? I did add another actual level to this house to make it taller because of the sight lines and the heights of stuff. And I also did add in a second layer to this house because as we come across the bridge from the main village and coming down this way, as you can see, there's all these different variant heights as you first see. And then the two in the back are a little bit taller, so it's a bit more pleasing to look at it. But what I need to get done now is actually put the roof in. What do we do for a roof, you might ask? Well, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do on this small house right here, and then probably do another time lapse, or I'll just do a whoop transition. But first, let's do this roof and see where we get. So this part, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky actually doing these roofs because I didn't quite put the, the thought process into it that much of how, just how close all of these houses are. So I'm gonna do a simple slab roof like what I kind of did over there for the barn and what I've done over there for the world library. And I'm thinking to try to keep these smaller houses at a lower height of a roof is that I'm going to keep them pretty small, pretty flat so it doesn't really mess up with the sight lines of everything. I'm thinking it's gonna look pretty good. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So something to the effects of this, and then we're just going to run the bamboo slabs across here to match with the sheep barn over there. Because this is the farming district after all, so we're going to try to have the roofs be looking as thatchy as possible. So now that we've actually completed this first small roof, let's just take a step back. Like, okay, eventually we'll do some slabs in there, and we'll put buttons along the actual posts, and we'll get the walls put in. But as we do start to come in, we can see just a little bit of that. Ooh, that is very nice. And I like how the roof is slanted this way, and I want to try to do different variants of the roof so they're all in different directions. So let's see what I can come up with and get some of these roofs put into place. And then hopefully I'll have enough time to actually put in at least the walls. We'll just see how far I can actually get. Now, if you ask me that is looking good. 
that little balcony right there i want to actually have as a balcony so you go up into this tower section and then you can actually stand out onto that balcony so you can actually like overlook the farming district and this little housing dwelling area for all the farmer villagers that will be roaming around eventually throughout this entire little cul-de-sac i did kind of figure out a way how to get all these roofs connected together in the sense because they're so close to each other and how this style of a roof actually works so if we hop into free cam here i can kind of show it a little bit so like this roof here kind of goes up and under this one is this way so it kind of butts up against this house in a sense these two roofs are connected like pretty much almost all of these roofs are connected in a sense that so you could literally like do hopscotch across these entire roofs and actually now that i'm looking at it you could start here work your way all the way over to here and if you had some ladders in your pockets you could just like climb up as you want it to go but this is really starting to come together and, and i want to do some more detailing with the actual roofs themselves so they look a bit more like the sheep barn over that way but not so much of identical but still wanting to do in the style of this being thatchy looking and i tried to implement that with the slabs that i had like right here to make it look sloping connecting the higher elevation roofs to the rest of the builds but it's starting to come together and i'm starting to really fall in love with this area because before there was nothing here so now as we you know come across the bridge out of the main village we're coming over here to the farming district to trade with our villagers to you know get them to working in the fields and everything it's going to start feeling a lot more homey and eventually once we get walls placed in we get the doors in here we actually build in a custom pathway and we add in decorations in between the different alleyways and everything because like this is a small gap here i don't know what we'll do to come up this way in the sense maybe we can add some more houses like maybe just like a tall tower right here to kind of fill in that gap and again trying to keep in mind with the sight lines of everything that when you first come in it's kind of short and shallow and then as you get further in you can start to see more of the taller roofs and all that different the depths and the layers so i'm trying to improve on my building and make things a lot better but unfortunately i do need to get going big things happening i've actually this episode is being recorded like two weeks in the past so currently me recording this is two weeks behind of what you're actually seeing this so this is past 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 cue that you're seeing right here but yes, in the next episode, we'll finish working on this area. We'll add in some walls. We'll figure out the different flooring and everything of that sense. We'll get some pathways put in here. So the next episode of the Old School Let's Play series, we are going to be working hard over here, decorating it, getting the walls in, getting the villagers over here, and making it idiot-proof for those villagers so they can roam around free, nilly-willy, have composters everywhere so that they'll always be farmers and don't have to worry about any conflicting of barrels and sense of that. So I gotta get composters over here, get them traded into far farmers, and don't have to worry about other barrels or decorative things being used for them to want to trade. But anyways guys, have a good day.